What's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz and I am doing the third edition of the Taurus neck fan and this is the Coolify. So I've already reviewed L2 and L3 and this is the newest edition. This is a whopping $150 for this neck fan. So we're going to see exactly why it costs so much and if it's even worth it. So first of all, this is a wearable air conditioner is what it's being labeled as. I'm going to start out by saying I like the case that it comes in. But I'm not sure how durable it is. All right, how do you open this thing? Is it going to just pop open? So yes, it just slides open. It's a user manual in the cable bag. I like the fact that the instructions right off the bat are in English, although I am I question the translations of things, especially after reading the other ones that I've read in the past, the other two that I've had. It is forbidden to disassemble, strike, squeeze, or throw into fire. Why would you throw it in a fire? Of all things. Uh, if you had this on, I would think it'd be hot outside and you wouldn't want to be anywhere near a fire. Well, I guess if you're barbecuing. But why would you throw it? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, let's see. If an accident occurs due to improper use, please consult a doctor immediately. It's kind of scary. <clears throat> I'm telling you guys to read these instructions. They're absolutely hilarious. Yep, and there's the non-English stuff. Right. So we've got the charger. Yay, they've upgraded. It's the Type C. I'm going to need like converters on old chargers so that way I don't have to worry about finding my old chargers on different products. So it does have a nice carrying case. Is all that supposed to fit in there? Ouch. Let's see. Okay, pitch nicely. So you've got a nice little carrying case for it. So one of the things that I noticed right off the bat that's different than the other tours is, is that it has a nice little plate right here. And from my understanding, that's going to add some additional cooling to your device. It's still flexible. Oh wait, um, you can move it in and out. That's pretty much it. But it does come in both black and white, so this is the one that I got in black. Alright, anything else I need to know about this thing? So let's see how the portable AC works. That's a neck fan. Alright, where's the button? Alright, the power button's right here on the right side. And I am putting my hair over it so I don't... It, although it's not supposed to. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Well, your body's supposed to be able to turn 12 degrees cooler in one second. So this should be interesting to try out. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on higher speeds. So it's not 360 because I don't have it on the back of my neck. It goes probably to almost the back of my neck right here is where it stops, where it was bending. That's where the little vents are going to stop. So it's not actually on the back of your neck. Oh, wait. I already feel my hair getting, it sounded like it got in there. Supposedly you're not, you're not supposed to have to worry about your hair getting tangled up in here. Although it did kind of sound like my... Okay, your hair can and will get caught in the vents and it will get pulled. I speak from personal experience just now. <laughs> so, anybody with long hair, be careful. As far as the battery life on this device, it's going to take two and a half hours to go from completely dead to charge and it's going to last over eight hours. And that's of course depending on what setting you have it on. I believe I have it on the highest setting currently. I'm afraid of my hair now. 
Yeah, I have it on the highest setting currently. So I do feel air from both the top and the bottom. I'm trying to see where else the air is cooling. When I initially put it on, this was nice and cool because it was sitting against my neck. It's warm now, and I'm guessing that's supposed to help, I guess, control the temperature. I'm not exactly sure because I don't have proper instructions other than basic of do not throw this in a fire. <laughs> it will also help with hot flash relief for your cooking, gardening, working from home, or doing your makeup. Based off the website, this is a semiconductor on the back here, and it's saying that heat energy is exchanged from here. And the coldness, which I'm not sure what coldness it is, because once it hit my neck, it warmed up pretty quickly. So the coldness is transmitted to your, and within one second, your body temperature is going to drop 12 degrees. It doesn't. This only gets warm. <laughs> And I can tell you that uh, just by initially putting it on, as soon as I took it off, it was still, this was warm and I didn't feel any difference in my body temperature. Now the back of my neck is a little bit cooler because of the coldness that was originally here, obviously transferred to my neck. But I don't see how it's a portable AC unit, especially since it's just a simple fan. But I'm going to take this outside and we're going to test it out and see how well it compares. And then, of course, I will be doing a comparison between the other two, between this one and the other two Taurus neck fans, which are listed as neck fans, not a portable AC unit. So I'll see you guys outside. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm out here. Clearly, I'm not in a good mood. Let me, let me see exactly what kind of temperature we're looking at here. Yeah, almost 100. We're sitting at 98 degrees out here. Thank God the sun is setting a little bit, so it's not just cooking me out here because I didn't want to do this in the middle of the day, so I went ahead and knocked it out tonight. Um, yeah, it, it's for it being 98 degrees, it's pretty tolerable. I'm not, you know, pouring down sweat or anything like that. But one thing I did not realize until after I stopped in between going from the studio to out here is that I mentioned that this piece right here gets pretty warm so I don't see how it's really going to cool you off. Now keep in mind guys a lot of these reviews are just really unboxing and initially you know just my, my initial re review of it on whether it's good quality or not. And I said that because coming from the studio to out here I was playing around with the settings on this, and I'm like, I don't understand what this cool, what's so special about the coolifying, which I'm pretty sure is the reason why your guys are here too. Well, currently right now, I have it on the highest setting, and this is still pretty warm. What I did not realize is that you have to hold it down, and I'm actually going to get this a little bit closer to the camera so that way you guys can actually pick up the sound. So I'm going to hold it. So y'all heard that, that little beep sound, right? I'm not sure how well it picks up, so I wanted to make sure you guys actually heard that. This is actually cooling off. And so that's where the coolifying comes into play. I have not seen that on any other neck fan other than this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear it for a little bit. Also, for anybody that has long hair, <laughs> your hair can get caught in this. So, just fair warning, even though the technology is based on anti-twisting, anti-hair pulling, it can still happen. Also, before I put this on, this part right here is warmer than initially, but this part right here, where that's going to actually be touching your neck, is significantly cooler, I'd actually say kind of cold, to touch. So, oh my gosh. So that's where the... Your body's going to, you know, drop 12 degrees within one second portion right there on the back of your neck. However, I'm not happy with the way it's sitting on my neck. And you guys can actually look. It's not directly touching it. So I kind of have to adjust it and play with it a little bit to get it comfortable. 
and I hope you guys are able to pick up on my speaking since I am facing my back towards you guys. So here it is, and it doesn't, you kind of have to adjust it to get it on a comfortable position. I did read on in the instructions that I'm not, I don't, I don't recall what it, what this coolifying force, what it's called specifically, because it's a word that I've never heard of before. And I'll go ahead and put it down right here so you guys can know exactly the word I'm looking for, or the word I'm referring to as I was doing my research. I didn't understand exactly what it meant, but I do now, because like I said, with the cooling part, I like the fact that it, that little metal piece does stay cool, and you can adjust it so you don't have to worry about your body adjusting the temperature to this cooling plate. It only lasts for 30 minutes and then it's going to turn off. It was the other Taurus. It was the L3 that I was referring to. If you wear it for more than 30 minutes, it can prevent belly aches, diarrhea, and I think hypothermia or something like that. Some really weird, bizarre <laughs> trait, so I'm guessing that's why this one only has for 30 minute setting. Overall, I do like it. I just wish that there was some way for them to get the colder air to flow throughout the device, not just on the back of the neck. That would make it, in my opinion, more of a portable AC unit versus just the back of the neck. Although I do like that portion of it because any type, anytime you're having it on your skin, regardless of whether it's plastic or metal, your body's going to take that temperature and it's going to replace the, obviously that hot and the cold. So even though it's cool to touch as soon as you touch it, your body's going to warm it up. But it doesn't seem like that's the case with this. But I would strongly suggest you having your hair up because on the back of my neck right here, the opposite of the cooling device, it is pretty warm. So I can easily see this being a safety issue, possibly. It's kind of something to, to be aware of. It's pretty warm, but the portion that's actually touching my neck is actually nice and cool. So if you are wearing the Coolify, I strongly suggest wearing it with your hair up if you do have longer hair. So that way, for one, you don't have to worry about your hair getting tangled up in it, but also um, because of the cooling portion right here is getting pretty warm and hot and it's actually turning my hair pretty warm too. So that's one thing I would strongly suggest. For 150 bucks, I would suggest a couple of minor changes such as that cooling device going throughout the neck piece to keep you cooler in general. And that way it's not just, you know, outside air blowing in. You have that cooling component. Arctic Air? Why did you think about this? Your name, Arctic Air. Okay. So that's a whole other review we're going to get into um, that I'm going to do a comparison with these. So make sure that you subscribe. Overall, I'd probably give it a 3 out of 5 because there are a couple of little flaws on it, such as the neck piece getting pretty warm in the back right here. Ooh, I don't like the way that stuff feels. So the, yes, this is the, the where a lot of the air intake is coming from. But for, for $150, this is the only benefit that I have outside of any other fans. The air may be going a little bit stronger or something like that, but for $150, bucks, to me it's not worth it because I can easily see it getting damaged or causing some you know, people to get burned here, especially if you're out whenever it's, you know, the sun is blaring on you. Luckily, it's kind of setting right now. Yeah, I can easily see that being a safety issue. So I'd give it a 3 out of 5. Um, but as far as functionality and cooling you, 3 out of 5 as well. So if you have any questions, please drop them below. And I'll be doing a comparison, so make sure to subscribe. In the meantime, stay tuned, stay deaf. Thanks for watching.